Hello, I hope you are doing well. In this video, I am going to model and simulate an electrical field in a 2D dimension system. So in this part, in select physics window, I come to ACDCC module and I select electric current, I add it. And I select a stationary for the study of my system. At the first step, uh, I must draw my geometry. So I draw a rectangle, a square with one centimeter width and one centimeter height. So I right click and Geometry and so it's my geometry. I add material from library. I use copper. The next step I define boundary conditions, govern governing equations and initial values for my system. The equations for electrical currents uh, can be tracked in this section. Uh, the conservation of electrical charge in my system. So I right click on that and I select ground. It means the, the voltage in this boundary is zero. I right click here and I define the And volt voltage here. So I mesh my system. Now I click and I study to compute it. It is electrical uh, potential uh, in my system. It is kind of linear distribution. I can draw other variables by right clicking on the surface and I can draw for example electrical uh, current density in this system and Okay, uh, another thing is that we can uh, uh, compare different, ty different types of material during our study. Uh, for this purpose, uh, we can use a feature that known as, that known as uh, material soup. So in this part, I remove copper and I right click here. In more section, I click switch. I right click on switch add material from library. Okay, I select copper and I click right click on it and add to switch not to add the component. Okay, the material must be added in this section. I click I select for example gra graphite and quartz as well. So uh, I have defined three different uh, different materials and uh, in another section I right click on a study and I select material suite and I add switch the number of material that I want to run for and I click on uh, compute. Uh, it means uh, I start with first material, the step is one, it means that second, third, fourth, and so on. 
and uh, until the second material. So after computing, my model starts to run for each material in the same running, and I then I can compare different variables for different structure, different uh, uh, crystals uh, configurations, because uh, in uh, some important uh, features such as, uh, for example, solar cells, uh, the structure and the uh, crystal, crystal form of uh, material that we use is so important. So here it is copper. Gra graphite and quartz. Okay. As you see, current density for different materials differs from others and it is uh, it is an important feature in uh, all academic uh, studies because you can review different materials in the same time uh, okay the the second uh, feature uh, that you can use is parametric sweep for example I defined V0 here as a parameter and in parameter parameters I define V0 10 volt okay in prom parametric sweep I define this one and I, I define 10 15 and 20 so I compute it again Okay, so there is two different uh, different different parameters. One of them is a constant parameter that is uh, uh, voltage, and second one is the property of your system. For example, a copper, granite, or a quartz. So there is another feature in this kind of studies that known as auxiliary sweep that I will introduce that to you in uh, another example. 